Okay, hello and welcome to my channel. I am a sexologist and relationship therapist, Auntie Josie, and it is always a pleasure to be here to talk uh, about the issues that really affect our sexual lives. Because you realize that so many people need counseling, so many people need therapy. It's just that they do not know where to go to. And it has reached a point where sexologists, sex therapists, and relationship therapists, they're now coming out so that at least they can offer a safe place for discussions with the people who are going through so many issues. It could be d diseases, it could be um, dysfunctions, it could be bad relationships, it could be uh, addictions, you understand? So uh, thank you very much for choosing this channel and uh, kindly... Uh, Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this button. And always remember that uh, I'm always here for you. If you need someone to talk to, if you need guidance, you can always leave a message down below. And I'll send you my WhatsApp number so that at least we can walk through therapy. Okay. And I can always give you herbal therapies because herbal therapies, number one, do not have side effects. And they work. They are effective. If you find the right hand, okay? Now, we were discussing the issue of female sexual disorders, and I had discussed sexual aversion in women. These are the women who hardly have sexual feelings, sexual desires. They don't want to be touched. They don't want their genital areas to be touched. And we discussed reasons, causes of all these kind of behavior in certain women okay so but i would like us to discuss the matter of how female sexual aversion affects relationships okay and there is a talk out there and people have always discussed this they say like uh, before you get married to someone <clears throat> and this is a very big issue it is actually disputable and uh, you know like the church is against this but everybody thinks that this is the wisest thing to do that a relationship should start sexually even before the wedding why because um most of the times you get married to a partner who does not respond to sex and you know there are people who actually go into marriage Basically, they go into marriage because they believe that it is in marriage where they will find sexual satisfaction. But apparently, they get into marriage and release, you realize that this partner does not want to be touched. This partner does not want to go naked. This partner cannot have sex in the light. She wants all the lights switched off. This partner has sexual problems, you know, like they have psychological, they have psychological issues, they have traumas. They suffer, I don't know, anxiety even in bed. You understand that they do not love sex. And therefore people are always like, oh my God, what did I do? What did I get myself into? And just from that very own moment, that moment of the honeymoon, issues begin. You can imagine. So it is straining marriages. It is causing splits. It is leading to early divorces. And most people are like, maybe we need to discuss this a little bit more, okay? It has led to fights that actually end up draining those people, breaking each other, abusing each other, physically, emotionally, and verbally, you know, because there is anger. One partner is anger. They are angry because they feel cheated. They are angry because they feel betrayed. They are angry because they are not being satisfied. They have not found what they gained for. Therefore, there is bitterness, okay? Uh, one partner feeling shortchanged and their rights denied. Okay, and this is also what leads to betrayal, like in cheating. Now, this one partner that is disgruntled just decides to cheat because, I mean, some people, that is how they are. They are they, they, that is how they are built. They can't do without sex. Okay, so the cheating starts and then, of course, somehow it begins, it brings diseases and it, it's just crazy. It's just one crazy roller coaster of, of, of issues. Okay, and... Uh, what we usually advise is that couples, before you go through, uh, before you go into marriage, usually come for therapy, come for sex therapy, okay? And there is also what you call relationship therapy, okay? Because by so doing, we are able now to determine one's history, where their sexuality is concerned, okay? History, how did they grow up? How were they exposed to sex? What is their attitude towards sex? Do they embrace sex as a gift from God? Or do they think that it is a curse? It is, a, it is an evil thing. You understand? These are the kind of things that we want, we, we do, we do as, as sexologists, as therapists. These are some of the, the, the things that we dig into so that at least when both partners, when these two people go into this marriage, the two of them are on the same page 
where sex is concerned because sex is the energy it is the center of energy where love i mean a marriage really rotates around that place sex oh it is not the kind of thing you can downplay and say yeah it's not a must it depends on who you're talking to and whom you are you understand then we also uh we also uh, we also establish issues like trauma. We establish issues like phobias, you understand, and so on and so forth. So it is a journey. It is a journey that both of them are supposed to take. And then we, we, we gauge issues of intimacy. How close are they? We gauge issues of compatibility. There is a way you can actually tell that these two people are not compatible. And therefore, you, you, you know, during therapy, you you grow you 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 grow this this compatibility between them although sometimes that is quite difficult compatibility is supposed to happen naturally it is supposed to it is not supposed to be the kind of thing that that you pick you just you just it, it is supposed to happen so naturally you understand but once you're married and you really want to salvage your marriage and you really believe in each other then there is a way we can grow it so that the both of you get compatible physically we test the emotional com compatibility we test the psychological compatibility we test the spiritual compatibility of a couple okay so that this way there the intimacy the intimacy levels rise okay they rise and we also introduce the other means of alternative female orgasms because most men believe that uh, a woman can only get an orgasm through sexual penetration by the way for your information so many women do not get orgasms through penetration i think it is only 39 percent of women who get orgasms through penetration because pe penetrative sex is is a little bit tricky where the woman is concerned there is there is a certain amount of depth there is a, t a certain amount of activity that has got to go on inside a vagina for her to acquire vaginal orgasms but there are so many other ways to actually help a woman uh, reach her orgasms and this we shall be discussing here okay so should we actually should we allow people but anyway people are engaging in sex before marriage but there are certain churches there are certain sects <clears throat> okay there are certain religions where it is so strict it is so strict you are not supposed to I mean like the rules and you know this this issue of fornication is real in certain churches and therefore you realize that these people they go into marriage when they know nothing about sex and the woman might actually develop sexual aversion because of what had been drunk in her mind pertaining to sex Therefore, that is why we keep on saying, come for sex therapy before marriage. It is an interesting thing. Sex therapy is amazing. And you get to discover each other. You get to actually understand the other person's body, your own body first, the other person's body, how the both of you respond to each other. It is, it is, it is amazing. Therefore, I do not sit there and say, oh, I have, I, I, oh, my marriage is dying. Oh, what do I do? I'm going to cheat. Oh, I don't want this woman. Then you start lamenting. <laughs> so kindly, seek therapy. And thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Because I really want to hold these conversations with just about everyone. And of course, we move on from there. Thank you so much.